Hi, and welcome to the Daily Dose of Inspiration. New York State and New York City are slowly reopening, and for many of us, this means a gradual return to normal life. So with this in mind, I'd like to share with you a short story. There was once a rabbi who walked into his classroom with a big pot. Today, students, I'm going to teach you how to make cholent. Cholent is the traditional stew that we eat on Shabbat afternoon. And then he took out a bag of potatoes and filled up the pot all the way until the top. Students, is the pot full? Yes, you can't even fit one more potato in there. Well, then the rabbi took out a bag of barley and proceeded to pour the barley into the pot and the little pieces of barley found their way in between the potatoes. And he continued until the pot was completely full. You couldn't even fit one more piece of barley in. Is the pot now full? Yeah, now it's full. The rabbi took out a jug of water and poured the water into the pot and the water made its way in between the barley and the potatoes until the pot was full. Then the rabbi turned to the students. Today, I taught you not only how to make chalant, but also how to make a life. You see, the potatoes represent the important things in life, whereas the barley and the water represent all the other things that need to get done, but at the end of the day, they're just not that important. If we begin by taking care of the small things, trying to get them out of the way, and hoping that one day, once we retire or we've built a life for ourselves and lined up all our ducks, then we'll take care of the important things, we're making a big mistake. Once you fill that pot with barley and water, there's no more room for potatoes. But if you begin with the important things, if you put the potatoes in first, everything else will fit in somehow. Over the past few months, many of us have had the opportunity to rediscover the potatoes in our lives the important things. Some parents have told me, now that they're working from home, how much they appreciate having dinner with their children, something they haven't done in years. Others have told me they've studied more with the online classes and daily videos than they've studied in an entire lifetime. lifetime. Others have taken the time to develop and nurture and discover their inner selves. But as the world reopens and the pace of life picks up, we risk losing our gains. So perhaps the Chullen story can guide us. As, as we return to normal, let's make sure we first take care of our potatoes, of the important things. Whether it means scheduling a time in your calendar, blocking off time as if you have a meeting, however, however you try to figure it out, let's put in the potatoes first, everything else will fall into place. Have a great day.